Oh, okay, so this is where the 179s stay, which is why they are so dirty, I guess. Oh, what is, is that the low V? What an exciting where to now it's been this weekend for Take Me Somewhere New. I'm going to Wave Hill in Riverdale. Awesome. NY Bread, Bama Fed, um, and all those three other guys said, go to Riverdale. So that's what I'm doing. Ah, so I asked about these LED lights under the rails. I guess when they were uh, in 2018 when this was remodeled. That's when it happened. That's when they put those LED lights under the rails there. Pretty cool. Nice, nice station. Good station. Entry. So the uptown is on this level. Good. That's where I want to go. And okay, let's do. Ah, come on, dude. Don't you see me trying to. All right. Omni Smack. All right. Taking the C. And then we're going to change to the one at uh, 168th Street. The opposite of 68. Oh, I've never haven't got to try one of these out yet. All right, cool. Let's go to. Wait, uh oh. I was going to. That's not cool. I was looking forward to trying it out, but look at this. It's all wobbly wobbly. Wobbly bobbly. That's not comfortable at all. Look at that. It's not even bolted down correctly. It's all loose at the bottom. Boo! The bench is a better place. All right. Oh yeah, the new entrance is here from 2018 also. So it's been a little less than four years, I guess. And this is a design choice. It's, uh, I don't know quite the purpose and I'm not gonna look it up because I really don't like it. Oh, what, 1825 Seneca Village. What is this about? As one ode to the history of the park, the artwork includes a map of Seneca Village, the five-acre settlement founded by free African-American landowners in 1825. The settlement was the first of its kind in the city and lasted until 1857 when the construction of Central Park began. Aha. So, it's in memory of um, what white people took away from the African-Americans in New York City. Interesting. Well, I mean, at least... Uh, All right. Well, sorry about that. That's... That sucks, but at least uh, I'm glad at least they recognize it. Got to face our history. As Americans, we have to face our history in order to not not relive it. Always remember. 86th Street. All right, heading on. That's right. That's what he said. What he, whatever he said is what's happening. 103rd next. They understood that. I'm in a R46 car with a with a speaker that works. Magic. 103rd St Street Station opened on September 10th, 1932. Hmm. So I threw this up there because I was always really... It, we, like, 103rd Street seems like such a random number to put a station. So I was like, why is there a 103rd Street Station? And that doesn't answer my question, but it's been around almost 100 years, so it's quite a while. All right, so... We there yet? I mean, I suppose 116 is pretty random too, but there's stops on the one and the two, three, and the B, C, so what are you gonna do? Alrighty, this should be 125th, right? Ah, 125th. Gotta love 125th Street. I love that bridge the one train crosses over 125th Street on. That's a, uh, that's quite a, quite, a, there's a lot of great places to take photographs under that bridge. And on top of the bridge, so it's a great rail bridge. All right, so 135th is next, is that correct? I believe so, yes. Going all the way to 168 and crossing over to the, well, it's not really crossing over. I guess we go in an elevator, I think. 145 is the termination point on the B, I believe, except during rush hours, it goes to the Bronx, right? I want to say that's right. Yes. I have never ridden the B to the Bronx. Yep, what he said. I mean, the speaker works, but the... Still can't understand what he says so much. B and D uptown on the Bronx. I'm on the A and C. All right. We there yet? I want to be there yet. Oh, nope. 155. So close, so close to being there. 155. This is quite a trip. 
I mean, this week you guys are taking me all the way from Metz Willets Point to Wave Hill in the Bronx. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Oh, 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 that looks so cool. I'm gonna go see what that mosaic is about. I gotta run. Gotta, gotta run, because there, there's no... I don't, I don't never know when he's gonna close the door, because, you know, he's like... This is this is this is 163rd Street. To stand there, close the door. Ding ding. All right. So, this one. Oh, these art installations are by a Dominican-born, New York-based art Fiore, artist, Fiorelli Baez. The colorful. Oh, that was. All right. You should go back and freeze frame that little factoid about the uh, art, the uh, mosaic installation. It was pretty cool. It's like a uh, uh, warrior woman, I believe, or a goddess woman from uh, mythology, from Caribbean mythology. Pretty cool. All right, so this is it. Cool. All right, go to the one train. It looks like it's this way, and then up and to the right. Okay, I mean, I found it. That was a lot of weird little arrows. Oh, boy. They do not want me to enter that door. Red and with a do not enter. It's like, do not come in here. You will die. Let's see. I'm going to go... Now, wait for the next elevator. Not this one, because it's out of service. Oh, look. Please, it, it looks supposed to be... It's supposed to be back in service tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow... I, even, all the, even the other elevators are like, um... I don't know about that. Hey, if somebody's riding the subway to riding around here tomorrow, leave in the comments and let me know if they actually got it working there. Usually don't. Anyway, so here we are, the Bronx. Ah, gotta love 168 and the one train. Gotta love this, these two overpasses. So nice. Just a great place to take some shots and just take some video. One train going the wrong way. Let's cross to the other side. Let them go back downtown. See ya! Nice. All right. So I should. There goes another one. And here comes mine, right? Mine should be coming any minute now because there it is. Nice. Okay. There's my ride, folks. Let's go get it. Let's get it. One train. All right. So we're almost there. We're, we're a third of the way there. A third of the trains there, I guess. 181st Street is where the George Washington Bridge is. It's a double-decker suspension bridge. The bridge is named after George Washington. Go figure. First president of the United States. It's the busiest motor bridge in the country. And, surprise, surprise, it has a pedestrian. You can walk across it. Unlike the Verrazano Bridge, boo. I really want to walk across the Verrazano Bridge. Is there... Have they changed that? Is there a bike, bike lane there and a... And a um, place to walk. Are they building an elevator here? Can't really see. It doesn't really tell me. I mean, it looks like about the size of an elevator, but I can't. No identifying feature features to actually look it up. So, oh well. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a contract number. Contract number A thirty-seven one fifty-one. Okay, yes. Build accessibility upgrades by Jude Law Contracting for a cool hundred and forty some million dollars. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Well, not just that one elevator. It said they had to do others. Just so whatever. 207th Street. Gotta love the above ground, the elevated rails. Wait a second, what's that? There's a rail yard here. Oh my gosh. Wow, so cool. Is that, are those red birds? Oh, okay, so this is where the 179s stay, which is why they are so dirty, I guess. Oh, what is, is that the low V? This is where they repair the, uh, the, the, uh, antique, I want to say antique, the, um, vintage train cars by the New York Transit Museum. That's like 207 Street, it's crazy awesome. We're in 2264, car number 2264, car 62A, there's this more rail yard fun for you. Man. I mean, I'm too far away to actually identify anything, but I'll leave it to you guys if you want to. 215. Okay, the one train is supposed 
to make all stops to Van Cortland. It is a little off-putting to hear the uh, conductor say that it's actually doing what it's supposed to. Why is he saying that? Why is he telling us that it's doing what it's supposed to do? That's about that's bothersome. Hey, oh, we're going really slow because of construction. I guess that's why. It probably wasn't going to, and then it was. I don't know. All right, we're on the Broadway Bridge, by the way. It's a vertical lift bridge. So crosses the Harlem River or Harlem. Yep, and uh, the one train goes across it. Pretty cool. Oh, there's the Metro North Station. Okay, okay, guys. I just checked the schedule, and it's here in like three minutes, and I gotta run because I do not want to miss the Metro Rail train, Metro North train, Metro Rail. Squeak it away, get, come on, get, get, old, old spinny door. Ah, oh, come on, lady in the front. Okay, all right, so, ah, I went the wrong way. Oh, there it is. Okay, it says this way. All right, cool. I have, I have never been to the Marble Hill station before outside of it, so I am just doing my best to try and find it running run 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 uh the prominent did i go too far oh come on why is this a oh that is not a good it was hidden behind the wall that is not cool okay well at least it's not here yet all right touch to start got a bit get my ticket one way uh oh, i see the press go back no 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 Ah, one way. Marble Hill to another station. I'm going to Riverdale. R, 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 R. -R. There it is. R. Okay. And Riverdale. One way. Just one way. No, I'm not disabled or senior. I'm almost a senior. Not really. Okay. One. Give me the one. Ah. Why is this such a horrible thing? Horrible interface. Just the rail ticket. Why is this so hard? Uh, credit card. Come on. Okay, I paid. Oh my gosh, it's here. Stop in Riverdale. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, wow. I never want to ever do that again. It's already moving. Like, oh. It took me forever to buy that ticket. Seriously. All right, well, there's the Broadway Bridge. Oh, I forgot we're in Marble Hill. It's like, one thing I learned like last year is that Marble Hill is actually part of Manhattan, even though it's across the Harlem River from Manhattan. So that's pretty cool. There are not many parts of Manhattan that aren't part of the island of Manhattan. Spite and Divals next! Ooh, cool, I get to figure out what Spite and Divals is all about. Oh, there's that little bridge under the Henry Hudson Bridge there. It's a Spite and Dival Bridge. It's a railroad swing bridge. Very cool. All right. You know what? Let's see. That's what it looks like. It swings and lets boats through instead of being like a drawbridge. That's pretty cool. That is a nice... Nice. Okay. And there's the Henry Hudson bridge that you, that lets cars go to Manhattan. Boo! That's a nice. Is that a tug or it's a barge? That's a nice. That's a nice barge. Hey, MTA workers, hard at work and walking somewhere. And it's a stairway to nowhere. That's not really a stair. That's a loading. It's, Loading dock. To, I don't know what that is, but I know it goes to nowhere. I guess it's to unload ships. You probably they probably put a conveyor belt across it to unload ships. I would. That's just a wild assumption. I could not find anything about it. I have to look harder next time. Won't be the last time I ride Metro North. Gotta love the Hudson Line. Here we are, Riverdale. Riverdale slash Wave Hill. So that's cool. All right. Oh wow, they weren't. He wasn't kidding about that gap. That's a that's a big gap. All right. Bye, Metro North. Go go to Croton Harmon and have fun. Just to show you guys, it's 10:52. The next train was going to be an hour. If I had missed that train, I would have had to wait an hour. Okay, a rail link. Okay, the nice lady in the rail link told me there is a shuttle to Wave Hill, and it's right there. The the rail link bus was hiding it. So here we are. And the shuttle, going to Wave Hill. Don't have to walk, like the website says you do. And here we are. Cool, all right. Made it to our destination. Added one extra mode of travel, but thank you, Mr. Shuttle Man. Very cool. Oh, bought my ticket. Okay, so we're in the garden. Urban Oasis, Wave Hill, 26 acres. That's pretty good, all right. Welcome to Wave Hill. 
I feel welcome. Oh, the shuttle goes to the one train also. I'm gonna have to take that on the way back. But for now, let's look at the English oak tree. Ah, yes, the majestic English oak. And the Japanese flowering crab apple. Beautiful tree, terrible name. And I don't see any flowers. I guess, I mean, it's not spring, it probably already flowered. Anyway, so let's explore a little bit more. What's this over here? What's that? A greenhouse of some sort. Okay, it's a conservatory, I believe it's. Let's see, this is a Dianthus chili? It's a, okay, that's a carnation. And that's a flower. <laughs> it's a red, very, wow, the reds are just popping. How about that? Oh, it's a bench, that's a pretty cool bench. Why is it always, why is it always in memory of, a, of somebody? Or can it just be a cool bench for a change? That is pretty. All right, let's go inside the conservatory and see what's there. Conservatory, 10 a.m. to noon. Okay, cool. Uh, conservatory honoring founding... Ugh. And Why do I feel like I'm surrounded by dead people here? Okay, is this... Are these cactuses dedicated to anybody? Is that cact... No, I don't, even like, I don't even like cactuses that much. This is a nice room. Lots of pleasant plants here. Orchids! Shiny Miss Supertoe, also known as Lily Shine, got an orchid when she worked at... Uh, a florist back when at the very start of the pandemic gave all the workers you know what everybody was giving them giving the healthcare workers that were facing covid all kinds of cool things there's a visitor center she the uh, florist came who had closed his shop and his stuff was going to you know go bad so he came to the hospital she worked at and she he gave everybody an orchid and we still have that orchid it blooms every march it's pretty cool so we call that our covid orchid it's very pretty I see Instagram influencers in the wild. Wave Hill dedicates to the memory of... Come on! Surrounded by dead people here. Okay, there. The original original Wave House was a gray field stone. There's no house here, but this is the Hudson River. It's pretty cool. So apparently Teddy Roosevelt's family rented it for a couple of years. Okay, it's been here a long time. The place is old. Get it? And it costs $10 to get in, so... Like, I'm not trying to advertise it too much. It's kind of cool very... I mean, it seems like a good place for a wedding, right? I'm not sure what the point of this copper... I guess it's just to hold the rock together instead of replacing the rock. Do not enter the ecology building. Okay, I will not. Looks like I'm about to get lost. Stop! Run! Ah! A witch is chasing me. <laughs> I feel like I'm the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> Have I lost the witch yet? I like nature walks. They're fun. Alright. I think I lost the witch. Looks like I'm to a main road now. Everything will be safe. Super toe's all good. Yeah. I think so. Who knows what's over there? No, it's fine. Alright. Cool. Wow. You guys have really come through this week on this where to now. Like, I've taken a bus, some trains, a boat and Metro North, and I'm ended up here in the Bronx at a beautiful place. Man, I hope you guys have really enjoyed these daily videos. The daily videos are not going to be up for a while, but I am going to keep taking suggestions here and there and doing some other rides. I'll keep posting, just not as often. Stay tuned for big, awesome, new changes to the channel.